Right then lads, how is everyone doing? Obviously last night was special. Newcastle United beat Aston Villa 3-1 and today we're gonna do like the, the, the video I always do, it's a, it's a day late. Um reason being I've been in work, I'm on the night shift, um and obviously I can't do videos when I'm at work. Got in the on Wednesday half seven in the morning um, so I was like I'll wait until I get up and I'll actually speak about the game and not more of a full rather than just like speak about the highlights and just being really happy and excited about it but thank you for everyone who's, who, who obviously is watching this video obviously a day late thank you very much I do mean it does mean a lot rather than just just watching it because people try to uh, see highlights and shit like that. That's what always happens with 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 the videos. But um, if you're watching this, knowing that it's coming out the daily, thank you very much. But Newcastle United beat Aston Villa three one, and it was a, a solid solid performance. And it wasn't even just like we beat them at their place. It was the first time they lost in 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 nearly a year at uh, at Villa Park. We played them off the park, and it wasn't. And, it, and we really really like. We're the better team. We were. We were so much better than them. From from minute one, we were at them. We were giving them chances. We were getting stuck at the challenges, and honestly, it was. Um, I thought we done really, really well. Like really good. There was a couple of changes in that team where it, it, it suited the way we played there. One thing that I liked from from minute one was Miley being on the left centre mid rather than the right. I think you look so much better. It was a much more much more effective. He was still using his left foot as well, which I think is fucking brilliant. When he was having a couple of crosses in the box, they weren't ideal crosses. Don't get us wrong, but I'd rather have him not cut back like some like 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 what someone does, even though he did have a good game. Um, but mainly on that side, and obviously Longstaff started being a burn. It was a bit more we were struggling on the counter attack. Where if he's got trip your neck, I think for me, I think Longstaff's going to be on that right side. I made a mainly on the left side. I don't many people seen that. I think that's what I think that was a key part of us winning that game. Um, I think Byrne and Miley linked quite well and we've done, we done so well in the midfield against Douglas Ruiz and Kamara. I think Kamara's being a bit dirty, getting stuck in, um, giving, a couple, giving a couple of fouls away and obviously he eventually came off but I think we definitely give, give them the better of them but defensively as well, yes we had that little scare when, when they made a 3-2 they obviously got um, for offside, I think mean, it was good work from Trippi, yeah, just getting them offside but Defensively, not even just speaking about Shaw's goal, I think Sam Botman was absolutely sensational. He's when he was out that team during that period in the Champions League, he was looking at it now. Probably the main reason why we didn't get qualified, or, or, or yeah, actually the cells didn't really put a foot wrong in the sense of like he didn't make a mistake or this or that. But Sam Botman is is absolutely like. It's ridiculous how we've got him and we've got to do so much to keep him because he is. He will get attraction from teams, so keep him happy. Keep keep doing what he's doing and, and he, he, he will become unreal for this football club. Trippy had a really good game as well. I put on the bench for FPL. Yes, he um, didn't get his clean sheet, but I think he got, I think he got an assist and, and, and two bonuses on it. I was fucked sick. I don't know why I put him on the bench. But um Trippy had a good game. You know what Dan Byrne did as well. People say, people like to say Dan Byrne and be like, oh well Tino should start, Tino should start and uh, I agree. I, I think I've always said players shouldn't have favourites. I think now we're going the into the um games where we're going only gonna have one a week apart from the FA Cup. I think does Livermento come in for rotation? I don't think you really Think about that. I think Eddie likes his likes when he's got a team running in a team that's winning games, and he will stick to that. Which is a shame for Tino, but what I quite liked as well, we were winning the game. I think it was three one or three nil, and he went to a five back, and, I, and I'm never against that. He put Tino on the left wing back, and then put Burton as the other centre half, which I thought was a good idea. I don't know if we've seen Eddie Eddie do that. And then even when Emil Kraft done it, I don't know if we went to a six back or not. I'm, um, I really, really don't know, but that that, that team, that performance defensively was, was was sound. Even Dubravka had a really good game. He start, I think, what it was for Dubravka. I think he was out the team for one and a half seasons and didn't really get a sniff. And he played two games for Man United, and I I don't even think he really played a couple for Newcastle, even in like the cup. And then he played that game against Chelsea last game of last season. And then he got hiding the deep end with that Pope injury, having to play against 
Everton, Tottenham and AC Milan. And I think all them games being away apart from Milan being the last Champions League game, if they put a little bit more pressure on him because he's off playing so long, when he's getting games week in, week out, we don't need to sign another keeper when people go, oh, we need to sign De Gea, we need to do this and that. He, he, he is a... He's a very good goalkeeper, very good. He's, in my opinion, not as good as Pope, um, save-wise. But I don't. He, he's, his distribution's much better. He, he, he does look back to his best to Bravka, so they keep him happy. And I wouldn't be too. You see, Brighton do it every week where they all take keepers and whatnot. If a game more suited to Bravka, I played to Bravka. Do not know if Pope does come back, but. But it's always good having a good second keeper because there was a scare when he did get injured. Maybe his caveat had to come on, but defensively in that game, we deserved a clean sheet in my opinion. But I mentioned the midfield, the attack now. Um, we got three goals, two of them by the centre half, like the Bruce days. But Fabi Shaw got two. Um, was, was 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 two good goals by Fabian. Um, the volley was very nice, and then obviously the the second one was was a lucky man Gordon. Um, he wished that would have went in, but uh, oh god, my alarm's gone. I was right away going off. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Anyways, the attack on wise, obviously we don't know the exact date, anything about Isaac yet. We don't know anything. It's a bit of a funny one. A groin injury. Um, I want to be against not starting to be against Luton, just giving them that little bit of rest, just to ensure that he will not become. Like playing them when he's eighty percent fit against Luton at home, where you you should be winning it. We look we looked at we obviously he came off and then we scored that goal in the second half. But we all know Gordon's on an out and out striker. Obviously against Man United away, he was that out and out striker that day. And he he did have a good match. He did one player who I, who I was extremely impressed with was Jago Murphy. He had a lot of critics when he signed for the club. Signed from Norwich, couldn't really get going. I think he's got one goal in his first season. Second season got sent out alone again to West Brom. Then out alone to Sheffield Wednesday. And then then he got the ground running. And don't get us wrong, he's not going to be a player to take us to the complete next level. But we've asked for a right winger. That's going to use his right foot. And then it's, it, Armour on the left looks fucking good. He did. That, that, that goal where he could just drive and play the ball... If that's not something that anyhow or he can't see, I don't know what is. The reason why he was getting caught out of possession so many times, Alan was because he was using his left foot on the right hand side for that goal. He's driven down the lane, put a ball in the box straight away, did no cutbacks, no stopping. He's just put the ball in the box and was scored from it. If that's not an insight of what we need to do, I don't know what is. But Alan was, was just on the left hand side. Murphy was good, deserved that goal, but. What can you do? I think it was it wasn't even going in. The, the, so you know what I mean. It was it, it was one of them for Murphy. And then obviously I think Gordon had a really good game as well, and a lot get mentioned. But yeah, I hope he's Zach's fit. And overall, it was a brilliant, brilliant performance. Um, as I, as I say, lads, thank you for all the um, delay on the video. It does mean a lot if you're going to sit here and still watch it, considering the game was yesterday. It does mean a lot. I'm going to do the Le the Luton videos now, so they'll be up on the channel. And then obviously we've got the game on Saturday, three o'clock kick off. All the videos will be out, all that stuff, and let's have it, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, boys. I'll see you all in the, in in the next video. Have a good and how are you, the lads?